Hi guys, uh, so this video is just to go through the radio self gyration experiment. Uh, this is for part two. Now in part two what we'll be doing is we'll be placing masses onto the um, onto our hanger and when we place the masses onto the hanger the hanger will move. It will start to uh, travel a distance. We'll set it up so that the hanger is one meter away from the ground and we'll uh, measure the time taken for the masses to hit the ground. Uh, so we'll measure a time uh, taken to travel one meter and we'll also measure uh, the a mass of the hanger as well. Uh, with, the, with the mass on the hanger uh, this will correlate to a force which will be placed on the hanger. Uh, the force on um, of the force in the string due to the hanger will be roughly equal to the mass times the gravity. Uh, there will be some effect due to acceleration uh, but it will be, I uh, will assume that it's small. Uh, so when we apply that force onto a component we can write the sum of torques uh, acting on our system and the sum of torques will be equal to the force on the hanger uh, times the radial distance uh, which will be around uh, 0.9905 uh, and then minus the frictional torque Now the frictional torque was found in the first experiment and the force in the hanger is roughly equal to mass times gravity where m is the mass uh, that is placed on the hanger. We'll be able to uh, then substitute this into our equation and we get our torque equal to mass times gravity times the radial distance minus the torque due to friction. So this concludes the first part. In the next part we'll look at how we calculate uh, the acceleration using the time taken for the hanger to drop uh, down.